Tim, welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Yacht Master Reference 116622 in stainless steel and platinum. You can see and you can purchase this quiet star of Basel World 2016 on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details for this this Rolex Yacht Master. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see this is the classic six digit Yacht Master that we know and love, but it combines a gorgeous azure shock of color on the dial with the Rolex Rolesium combination of platinum bezel, steel case and bracelet, and a dark rhodium dial festooned with 18 karat white gold indices. A spectacular watch in every respect. It's 40 millimeters across the round of the case from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, not including crown or crown guards. In terms of thickness, quite frankly, it simply isn't. You can see the slope and knurling of the bezel, but with a total thickness of 11.5 millimeters, 12 if you include the Cyclops eye, it's exceptionally compact, sits low on the wrist, a perfect companion for those times when you must dress up at the yacht club rather than sunbathe on deck. But from lug to lug, it's quite manageable for modern solid end link Rolex. That is to say, the end links of the bracelet are solid, they don't pivot, they act as hinges rather. And they only extend the span of the watch across the wrist, 50 millimeters total. So while they flare out beyond the ends of the lugs, they don't dramatically extend the watch. It doesn't wear like an oversized timepiece. We're worlds removed from the likes of the Deep Sea or the Explorer 2. Now the watch has a traditional Rolex three-link oyster bracelet. You can see that differential finish is used to distinguish the individual elements. Polished on the outermost flank, satin on the hoods of the shoulders, and then polished down the center. It's handsome, and it's a nice complement to the polish of the case. You can also see that the classical taper is complemented by solid center links. So not only does it feel incredibly smooth with the individual steps of the links, not tangible so much as you can see them. You really can't feel them. Tolerances are that good. With solid center links, the bracelet has mass, and you can see the channeling on the underside explains exactly why the watch doesn't pinch skin or pull hair. Now the entirely milled out clasp is characteristic of Rolex's latest production, immaculately finished. It also features the 5mm Easy Link take in, take out, so you can adjust on the fly without a jeweler's tool or a pin tool. 5 millimeters in, 5 millimeters out for hot weather, cold weather, activity or inactivity. And like all modern Rolex clasps, closes with a snick and a snap and it opens the same way. And as with all modern Rolexes, the steel that you see is 904L. It's made by Rolex, it's poured at their own foundry, and the significance of the alloy is that it's both more corrosion resistant than 316, but it's also harder, so it takes a polish and holds it better. It takes a satin finish and holds it better. Now moving inboard, you can see the bi-directional Yachtmaster style bezel. Its action is creamier than you'll find on the dive watches, and again, being more of a surface water sports watch, nevertheless 100 meters water resistant but it gives you the convenience of a bezel that's mobile in both directions. So you can align it with the index and the minute hand, and now you have a impromptu 0 to 60 minute timer. Now you'll also note that the bezel is all of a piece and platinum. While the watch appears to be metallically monotone, nevertheless, this combination of metals, which Rolex calls Rolesium, means that you don't have the ceramic insert of modern day Rolex subs or sea dwellers, nor do you have the anodized insert of the watches that preceded them. Rather, this is all of precious metal and beautifully relieved and polished. You'll also note that the watch features what Rolex calls a dark rhodium dial. It's a sunburst dark gray, and it has a dynamic character to it, such that it's almost difficult to capture in my light box. This angle probably does does it the most justice. As you can see, the darkness and the complexity, the richness and the grain of the dial at play. All of the individual indices are hand applied white gold. They are Rolex's blue hued chromolite. And then, of course, you can see those azure tones that are new additions to the Yachtmaster line for 2016. Now, inside is Rolex's classic 3135, albeit now in the timing specification that Rolex describes as superlative chronometer, which is to say, 
It does pass the COSC test. That is still present. The watch still receives a chronometer certificate. But when it goes back to Rolex, not only is it timed as a chronometer, as a fully cased up watch, remember COSC is a test of the movement only, but Rolex actually applies what it calls its superlative chronometer standard. So no worse than minus two seconds plus two seconds for, per 24 hours. COSC is minus four plus six. Now again, 100 meter water resistant with a screw down crown. It's approximately a 48 hour power reserve. And you can see on the case back, there's not much to see other than the solid and satin finished Rolex oyster screw in type case back. Underneath, bi-directional winding, very smooth, chronometer grade, dual anchored balance bridge, so it's very robust. Combine that with a free sprung balance architecture, and this watch can take a regulation and hold it well in the face of shocks and disruptions. Now, while the Siloxi spring has been introduced on the 37 millimeter ceramic bezel Yacht Master, this watch still uses the classical handmade anti-magnetic Breguet overcoil parachrom alloy hairspring, which aids the watch in both magnetic resistance and resistance to gravitational or positionally induced timing deviation. Once again, the watch features hacking seconds when you pull the crown to synchronize to a reference time and a quick set to rapidly correct the date. You can see and you can purchase this stellar combination of metal, rhodium, and a shock of azure blue on our website.